Carlos Saavedra Lamas November 1, 1878, to May 5, 1959, was an Argentine academic and politician, and in 1936, the first Latin American Nobel Peace Prize recipient. Biography <inaudible> 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 Born in Buenos Aires, Saavedra Lamas was a descendant of an early Argentine patriot. He married the daughter of President Roxines Peña. Saavedra Lamas achieved renown not only as foreign minister of Argentina for his practical work in drafting international agreements and in conducting international mediation, but also as a professor for his scholarship in the fields of labor legislation and international law. Saavedra Lamas was a distinguished student at Lacordaire College and at the University of Buenos Aires where he received the Doctor of Laws degree in 1903, summa cum laude. After study in Paris and travel abroad, he accepted a professorship in law and constitutional history at the University of La Plata, where he began the teaching career that was to span more than 40 years. Later, he inaugurated a course in sociology at the University of Buenos Aires, taught political economy and constitutional law in the law school of the university, and eventually served as the president of the university. Saavedra Lamas was a leading Argentine academician in two areas. A pioneer in the field of labor legislation, he edited several treatises on labor legislation in Argentina and on the need for a universally recognized doctrine on the treatment of labor, among them, Centro de Legislación Social y del Trabajo 1927, Center of Social and Labor Legislation, Tratés Internacional de Type Social 1924, Código Nacional del Trabajo 3 volumes, 1933, National Code of Labor Law. In the arena of practical affairs, Saavedra Lamas drafted legislation affecting labor in Argentina, supported the founding of the International Labor Organization in 1919, and presided over the ILO Conference of 1928 in Geneva while serving simultaneously as leader of the Argentine delegation. In international law, his other field of major scholarly interest, he published La crise de la codification et de la doctrine argentine de droit international. 1931, and he spoke, wrote, or drafted legislation on many subjects with international ramifications, among them, asylum, colonization, immigration, arbitration, and international peace. His brief Vita Internacional, which he wrote at the age of 70, is an urbane byproduct of all this study and experience. Saavedra Lamas began his political career in 1906 as Director of Public Credit and then became the Secretary General for the Municipality of Buenos Aires in 1907. In 1908 he was elected to the first of two successive terms in Parliament. There he initiated legislation regarding coastal water rights, irrigation, sugar production, government finances, colonization, and immigration. His main interest, however, lay in foreign affairs. He provided leadership in saving Argentina's arbitration treaty with Italy, which almost foundered in 1907-1908, and eventually became the unofficial advisor to both the legislature and the Foreign Office on the analysis and implications of proposed foreign treaties. Appointed Minister of Justice and Education in 1915, he instituted educational reforms by integrating the different divisions of public education and by developing a curriculum at the intermediate level for the vocational and technical training of manpower needed in a developing industrial country. When General Agustín P. Justo became President of Argentina in 1932, he appointed Saavedra Lamas as Foreign Minister. In this post for six years, Saavedra Lamas brought international prestige to Argentina. He played an important role in every South American diplomatic issue of the Middle Thirties, induced Argentina to rejoin the League of Nations after an absence of 13 years, and represented Argentina at virtually every international meeting of consequence during this period. His work in ending the Chaco War between Paraguay and Bolivia 1932 had not only local significance but generalized international importance as well. When he took over the Foreign Office, he immediately engaged in a series of moves to lay the diplomatic groundwork for a negotiated settlement of this dispute. In 1932 he initiated at Washington the Declaration of August 3 which put the American states on record as refusing to recognize any territorial change in the hemisphere brought about by force. Next, he drew up a Treaty of Non-Aggression and Conciliation which was signed by six South American countries in October, 1933, and by all of the American countries at the 7th Pan-American Conference at Montevideo two months later. 
In 1935 he organized mediation by six neutral American nations which resulted in the cessation of hostilities between Paraguay and Bolivia. Meanwhile, in 1934, Saavedra Lamas presented the South American Anti-War Pact to the League of Nations where it was well received and signed by eleven countries. Acclaimed for all of these efforts, he was elected president of the Assembly of the League of Nations in 1936. After his retirement from the Foreign Ministry in 1938, Saavedra Lamas returned to academic life, became president of the University of Buenos Aires for two years 1941 and rounded out his career as a professor for an additional three years 1943 Saavedra Lamas was known as a strict disciplinarian in his office, a logician at the conference table, a charming host in his home or his art gallery, and a man of sartorial elegance who wore, it is said, the highest collars in Buenos Aires. In addition to the Nobel Peace Prize, he was awarded the Grand Cross of the Legion of Honor of France and analogous honors from ten other countries. He died in 1959 at the age of 80 from the effects of a brain hemorrhage. In March 2014 his solid gold Nobel medal was put up for auction after being found in a South American pawn shop. In August 2014 a project for rebuying his Nobel medal by the Argentine nation was presented at the Argentine Congress. Topic Notes Topic References Nobel Committee Information on Saavedra Topic. External links Newspaper clippings about Carlos Saavedra Lamas in the 20th Century Press Archives of the German National Library of Economics ZBW.